Welcome back to Great Day, Louisiana. I am out here at Winn-Dixie this morning because starting now, you can actually help out one of the amazing local organizations called the Crew of Red Beans. And joining me now to talk all about how we all can pitch in, please help me welcome back the New Orleans Winn-Dixie District Manager, Chip Turner, everyone. Thank you. How Thank are you, my good I'm sir? I'm great. Thank you. I can tell you're doing great because this community donation program that you all are doing is awesome. Please tell everybody a little bit about it. I will. I will. So. When Dixie's been deeply rooted in Louisiana for over 65 years, so we're always looking for ways to get back to the communities that have supported us throughout those years. And, and we're extremely excited to, to begin our partnership with the Crew of Red Beans, another local, great local organization that has the same values that we have when it comes to taking care of the community and celebrating our culture. So we began our, our uh, community donation program, which will end on April 20th, where we're asking our customers to come out and help us make a donation. Make a donation through any one of our re registers with a monetary figure or by rounding up, which will make so much of a difference in so many lives in New Orleans. And it could be $1, $5, anything we can. Anything we can. It is absolutely amazing. Again, from now until April 20th. Now, let's go check in with one of the organizations, the organization, the crew of Red Beans, to see where all of the money is going to on. All right, gentlemen, now is the founder of the crew of Red Beans. Please help me welcome Mr. Devin DeWolf. How are you, my good sir? I'm well. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for coming on. I am honored to be interviewing you, and I love that when Dixie is doing this community donation program, it goes to one of you all's programs called Feed the Second Line, NOLA. For those who do not know, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so Feed the Second Line recognizes that New Orleans culture is made by the people of our city. Uh, the folks who are baby dolls, make second lines, are black masking Indians, are musicians. And what we've been doing since last summer uh, is really buying groceries for people, um, which initially during COVID was helping keep elders out of the grocery store, keeping them safe. But also what it's doing is creating a way that we can appreciate our culture creators and say, you know, thanks for making New Orleans what it is. And we would just want to buy your groceries. And in doing that, what we're doing is creating jobs for musicians. Yes. So they're gig working, buying the groceries here, and it's so just a cycle of love. So you're the musicians. The musicians are getting paid to buy groceries, and oh. we're buying whatever the big chief, the baby doll, the groceries that they ask for. And it's fighting food insecurity, it's fighting poverty, and it's also creating jobs. And so that's kind of what we need things. right now. I love that so much. And again, how do you help support it? Rounding up right here at the checkout counter. Now, it is Monday. Crew of Red Beans is here. What are we making now, everyone? Red beans and rice. Let's go check in with Camellia Brand and try it out. All right, joining me now is Mr. Ross Robertson. He is the executive chef for Camellia Brand. Happy Monday, my good sir. Happy Monday. I am so excited to make red beans. I love red beans so much. My spoon is already ready. Get us started. How do we start making the red beans the right. camellia way? So we use the camellia red beans. This is our signature red bean, non-GMO, gluten-free, um, United States grown. Genius. Um, and I, I see it's them. in water right now. Yes. So do you suggest soaking the red beans? I prefer to soak the red beans and let me show you why. I, uh, I'll sort them first mm -hmm. and then I soak them. That way I pull some of that starch out, but then I will put this water back in while I cook them so I get that nice starchy and they don't turn out too soupy. So you use the water? Correct. I love that. Well, okay, I also see the Trinity is here as well. You always need the Trinity, but I'm guessing yes, we start with the sausage. I start with the sausage and the tasso. I like my food a little more spicy, so I have a nice hot andouille in here. Mmm, delicious. And you use the pot. sausage, I see. Yes, sir. Yum, yum, yum. And what's good is that all this stuff is available here at Winn-Dixie. Yes, so we is. let the tasso and the sausage cook. Let it cook, kind of pull some oil out that okay. way. You have something to lubricate when you're doing the Trinity. Genius, love that. Okay, so there's no oil in the pan already. You just no. put it in there nice yep. and dry. Okay, love that. And now, of course, we're talking about the Trinity. As always, remind people what the Trinity is. So the Trinity traditionally is green bell pepper, celery, and onion. Mm -hmm. Personally, when I'm making red beans, I swap the green bell pepper out for poblanos, because like I said, I like spice. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited. I love a little spice as well. So you're using the poblano pepper, genius. So we put the onion in. Put the love onion. That. I've got poblanos and minced garlic. Mmm, always so good. And my celery. Now, what do you think is the secret to a good pot of red beans? Good pot of red beans, not cooking it too hot, not cooking it too fast. Just keep Ooh. it low and slow once you get it all in there. Keep an eye on it. 
Don't scorch your pan. Delicious. Now, of course, we have to use some water. We have the water here. Mm -hmm. How much water do we pour in there? If I'm doing a pot this size, what I usually do is I'll just fill up about two inches above my beans okay. and then just check it periodically. And then how long do we have to let it cook for? Uh, if you have pre-soaked beans, you can usually get it done in about an hour and a half. I love that. Well, he's going to put the water in there, everyone, and then we're going to check out the finished product. Look at that, Chef Ross. I cannot wait to try this, but I want to ask you, when you added the water, you also added some seasonings. What were the seasonings? Yes, sir. It's a um, Cajun spice blend that I make. It's uh, thyme, oregano, salt, cayenne, white pepper, black pepper. And the bay leaves, and the bay leaves. always great. And mm -hmm. if you can get fresh mm -hmm. bay leaves, much better. Another great tip. We'll spoon some on the plate. I am ready to try it. And while he does that, everyone, I want to first thank you for joining me this morning. Well, everyone thank you for, for joining me. me this morning. And also, for more information about Camellia Brand, you can visit their website, CamelliaBrand.com, including where you can get some of these recipes. And for more information about Feed the Second Line with the crew of Red Beans, head over to FeedTheSecondLine.com. And of course, for all of these great ingredients, just head over to your local Winn-Dixie or visit WinnDixie.com.